Hello friends, this video on motion and measurement of distance part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now as I was telling that there were certain traditional units which used to be which were normally used before and in fact today also we use it in certain parts of the country to measure distance. So let's look at what were those traditional units. So some common units were foot and people used the length of the foot as a reference that is this length of the foot as a reference to measure distance. So let's say they have to measure the uh, say length of the room so what they would do they would just step there and they, they will measure with their own foot and so let's say it is like 10 foot so they will say that okay the length is 10 feet so that's how they would measure so foot length was one very common traditional unit in fact today also uh, we often tell our height in feet like he is six feet tall she is five feet tall so that is also the same foot which we are referring to another traditional unit is cubit what is cubit? So cubit is the length of the forearm. This is the length of the forearm. So cubit is the length of the forearm. Now have you ever seen anyone using cubit as um, a unit for measuring length? So one common thing which you would have seen is in many small towns or villages, even big cities, a lot of uh, women who sell flowers, especially the garland of flowers, the white garland of flowers, the orange garland of flowers. So if you ask them what is the price for the garland, so they generally tell you the price per cubit. That is, they, they will measure that uh, garland like this as per the length of their forearm and they will charge you maybe 30 rupees for one cubit. So that's how they still measure the length of garland. So that, that's not, that was another traditional unit. Another was the width of the fingers. So when you say width of the finger, this width of the finger defines how much is the length. Tailors often use this unit to decide uh, how to make proper fitting of your clothes. So if you, if you often, if you have ever visited a tailor to say that, okay, the, my dress is very tight to me, so just loosen it. So how would he measure? Many a times they do it like this. So if they will keep one finger and they'll say, okay, I'll loosen it by this much length sometimes they when they put all the three fingers so the length would increase it would become this much when they open all the four fingers the length would be this much so basically the width of the fingers are used to measure the length so these were some traditional units where different parts of the body were used as reference to measure the distance however this using of traditional units has a lot of disadvantages associated with them. So the most common disadvantage was that there is no uniformity in size. Now when you are using your foot or you are using your hand or you are using your fingers or forearm as a, a reference, now different individuals will have different size of their arm, different size of their fingers, different uh, size of their foot. So everything is not universal. Uh, the size of the foot of a child child would vary from the child of, from the foot of an adult again for all adults also the size is not same some some people have uh, like smaller foot some people have bigger foot and that is why the sizes of your shoes also change right so that means you are actually not referring to something which is of standard size so let's say i told that okay i need uh, say let, let's say I said that I need three cubits of uh, a garland. Now the person who measured it, maybe that person's forearm length is very small. So that means the amount which you would give me would turn out to be less for me because my cubit length is more, my, the length of my forearm is more. So that means it creates a lot of confusion and basically in this case we are not able to measure, measure the distance precisely. So we are doing incorrect measurements. So that is why uh, using traditional units are not uh, preferred. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.